Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on while you're down there and also while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So today we're talking about the trauma of surviving a suicide attempt. Trigger warning, this video contains sensitive content. A suicide attempt can be traumatic and I found that whenever I've made an attempt in my life, the aftermath of that is very traumatic. First of all, let's talk about an attempt. I'm going to go for my last serious attempt, which I overdosed on glycolazide. I don't know how many tablets I talk about, I talk a lot. It took them 14 hours to get my blood sugars back in the normal range and even then it still kept dropping. I literally had to be on a glucose drip for a pretty long time. Well, until I took the cannula out, I was having a breakdown. Breakdowns aren't logical, but suicide attempts. I have flashbacks to my most severe suicide attempt, which I just explained. Personally, I find most of my suicide attempts traumatic. And I know a lot of other people do too. Why are they traumatic? Think of it this way, you're making an attempt on your life. You don't want to live anymore and you want to die. Someone intervenes. You're forced treatment. The trauma comes in when you survive the suicide a suicide attempt is traumatic. I don't care what people say. It just is traumatic. Like I was saying, I have regular flashbacks to suicide attempts and honestly it triggers me so much. But I'm not that person anymore. I haven't made an attempt on my life in over a year. How to cope with surviving a suicide attempt? One, breathe it's okay. Number two, distraction. Number three, get changed out of them clothes. There's nothing worse than being in the clothes that you made an attempt in. So even if it's changing into a hospital gown, it's better than being in them clothes. Find someone to talk to about it. Whether it's a friend, family member, someone on Twitter or just you're just tweeting out just be careful what you tweet because you don't want to trigger other people It's so important to take your mind off the situation when you attempted suicide Try not to feel bad about it You were struggling and even if you're still suicidal now It does get better. Thank you for watching this video and if you are new hit the subscribe button, join the growing family. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.